Hey guys, it's Random Thoughts here today, and um, yeah, something random. Uh, it's not in a vital record or a figure or anything like that, but uh, just something that I've had for a while, and I've never really seen any videos about about these. Um, so this is the IDW Godzilla in Hell. I believe it's a miniseries that came out a few years ago. I'm not exactly sure when though. Um, I know that these are kind of getting, uh, kind of getting out of hand on the prizes, so I thought it'd be really cool to take a look at these and, um, and to see how they look as an all as a comic. Um, I read these through a few times. Um, no, I wasn't honestly that impressed by, by them. Yeah, you could probably, uh, like read the comics on YouTube or anything like that or that people have, uh, put up, but... As of like novelty items or collector's items like Godzilla, I think that this is a really cool idea and really neat concept because Godzilla is, you know, obviously the most destructive uh, monster on, on the planet. Uh, even beating out King Ghidorah, Biolanti, Destroya, uh, anything comes his way. So yeah, I think in all, I really think it's a cool idea that they did Godzilla in hell. Um, did they... Did the writers and I think the artists did great, but I think as an all as a like as a story, uh, I kind of feel like it's flawed. That uh, it wasn't really the really, to me there really wasn't a big um, big build up to like a big fight or anything like that. But I think that the that the concept was really cool. So yeah, I think that having this in uh, your comic book collection or if you're just a a really big Godzilla fan like I am, it'd be really something to um, to have. So. I don't know about much about comic books, but um, I think this one is more expensive than the typical uh, normal release. But I don't know. Like I said, I just wanted to uh, take a look at a few couple pages and go on to the next. Uh, obviously, there are some different issues uh, or alternate cover arts. Uh, this one is by Jeff... Zorno, credits to him. I love this cover. That's actually the reason why I bought this, honestly. Um, this whole Godzilla and Hell set to begin with because I love the I love his artwork. I love the, the style, design. I think it's classic. It reminds me of the uh, Jason versus Leatherface comics, the way that those are presented on the on the uh, cover. But yeah, I think that still all the other ones are still really cool. Um... I don't know if they're ever going to re-release these, but if they do, I hope that they do do like single issues because these are really getting hard to get, and it's just something that uh, that I think other other Godzilla fans like myself will really enjoy. Um, what I, what I like about this one though, in particular, is that like it's more like a like a horror style, and as you can tell, King Ghidorah looks terrifying, and so does Godzilla, and it looks like King Ghidorah is being told to uh, beat up on Godzilla. And all that, and hell right here in this picture looks awesome. And I wish that the whole story was uh, done this way in this art, but it wasn't. Uh, they had, I believe, they had different artists uh, incorporated in this, which is really cool. I'm not gonna, I'm not bashing nobody. I think it's a great idea to to do that. And I just wanted to go through the first couple pages and see how the artwork was through that. Uh, I think the only thing that I feel like that that they should have done the story is do do more words. Yeah, it might be just a monster, but I kind of wish that there was more of uh, more words and more dialogue and things like that, so we could really understand the storyline better on Godzilla uh, in Hell. Um, I honestly think it would be a really neat idea to adapt this into like a uh, like a a ninety ninety five minute uh, animated movie. If that was possible, but I don't know. I'm not not too big into comics, but I think that would be a really cool idea. Um, add you know, add more characters, things like that. But uh, yeah, I think this thing looks great. I love this style. I love the style of artwork, and um, and obviously Godzilla looks really angry. As you can tell, he's fighting all kinds of different monsters in hell. I'm not really sure why he was sent to hell. Maybe he's just really powerful. But yeah, um, this is issue number one, and I think, like I said, this is a, like a mini series that they that I uh, IDW released a few years ago. So yeah, 
So this is uh, issue number two from Godzilla Goes to Hell. Uh, it has Eagleton, it has Godzilla, it has a Rodan, and it has uh, Ingeris, and it has Varen in this. Really cool. Um, I think that the covers on these do not give the comic books justice. Uh, I love that. I love that they still fall like he's falling into the pit of hell with uh, Angers and Rodan. I think that's really cool. Um, I don't believe that was incorporated in the story, but um, like I said, if they do an animated film, I would love for that to happen. But yeah, now this artwork I really, really love. It's like an old school artwork. I believe it is by uh, Eagleton. Yeah, that's who it's by. And uh, there is a little bit of dialogue. It's not much to it, but the, uh, but the, the chaos... And just the, the, the ravaged earth, the Rodan, and the old school uh, nightmare looking artwork is, is awesome. And yeah, that is actually uh, Godzilla 2000 right there. I think they do different Godzillas in each issue. And I think this one follows uh, Godzilla 2000 in this one. Um, really cool. Let me go through a couple more pages. Rodan and Godzilla look just absolutely phenomenal. And I hope that uh, if they do anything more like this, which Godzilla and Hell would be a really cool uh, series to continue. Uh, I don't know if they're actually going to do that, but it'd be really neat. And these monsters look phenomenal. Uh, do I recommend these? Yes. It, it just depends on the on if you're really like a big collector. I bought these when they were fairly new still, so I didn't I didn't have to pay very much. So here is um, issue three. Um, I'm not sure why I bought this one. I really don't like the artwork too much on this. I think it looks all right. Uh, of course, still has Godzilla 2000. Obviously, the uh, the moth here uh, is like a um, Easter egg to Mothra. And yeah, so here's the inside. Um, he's automatically fighting Space Godzilla. This is really epic. I think that's really cool. Uh, like I said, I think this art style is all right not as much as it's not as much as cool as the other one but yeah um let's go through a couple more pages and we'll go on to the next really 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 cool though i like i said i hope that in the future that they'll do like another set of these or or like another uh, rendition or a continuation of godzilla and hell because there's just there's just so much they could do with hell that it's ridiculous And I do, I do like Godzilla Rage Across Time. I have that in like a hard copy, but I think I think I like this one better, even though the story is a little bit shorter. So here is issue four, and yeah, it has a Godzilla Destroya and King Ghidorah in this, and that artwork on this cover looks absolutely awesome. And there is notice there's actually a little silhouette of an eyeball there. I don't know if that's Godzilla's or another monster, but yeah, it looks like Godzilla is fighting underwater. I'm not super sure. Or it could be like in a alternate dimension of hell. Who knows? But yeah, I think uh, these are great. Uh, IDW did a kick butt on this release. And obviously, yeah, if you like Back to the Future, I guess. I guess you could get those too. But not really my thing. My thing is Godzilla and horror. So yeah, let's take a quick look. Oh, and look at that. Uh, Godzilla had already beaten King Ghidorah and Destroya. So, so here are the other other issue cover checklist. Um, obviously, the middle one is my favorite. The standard's not really. So, yeah. And obviously, Godzilla looks different here. He has the, uh, the GMK look. And it looks terrifying. Uh, between the two, I would have probably picked this G the GMK version to fight the other monsters in hell. I wish it was like a continu continuative look. Like continue this look throughout the whole story. Not different Godzilla forms or suits, whatever you want to say. But yeah, this is, this is just great. I love that look. And I feel like this Godzilla in particular just really, really... Uh, Deserves to, to be in the whole story because of how honestly how evil the creature is in in the in GMK the, the film 
So I'm going to go ahead and go through a uh, couple more pages, and you just tell how, how powerful this Godzilla is, considering how he's fighting off King Ghidorah and Destroy. I don't know if it's canon, it's probably not, but uh, it's a really, really powerful Godzilla just to do that. So yeah. A couple more pages. And it looks like they killed Godzilla here, and so... We'll go ahead and take it the back the, the back one more time. Yep, through IDW. So this is uh, number four out of five. And here is the last one. This is uh, number five, uh, issue number five by IDW, Godzilla in Hell. So I guess these are the only only two artworks they had. Obviously, I got the standard cover. Um, I don't have the subscription. I think that the standard cover look the standard cover looks better, but that's just me. It's ter more terrifying. Godzilla looks like he's being eat up, and that looks crazy scary and crazy cool too. Um, so yeah, uh, here's here's uh, the more of the artwork for this number issue five. And let's see what other cool artwork they have. Uh, let's see. So, like, I noticed throughout the story that it looks like Godzilla is going through uh, each pit or each circle of hell. I think that was a cool idea. Um, I wish that they would have had one big bad monster that he would fight. I don't think it has that in this, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a cool miniseries. That the, like I said, the concept was really cool, but to me it just didn't pull off all that well. Honestly, um, now if Godzilla ever fought like something like a miniseries like Fighting Cthulhu or something like that, I think that would be so much better because of because those are like much more formidable foes. Now, that would be a really cool concept uh, fighting the Elder Gods and Outer Gods from um, the HP Lovecraft universe. I'm a big fan of too. And yeah, uh, looks like Godzilla uh, has been eaten up by these uh, creatures, and Godzilla is dead. And is Godzilla really dead? Oh no, he is not. He is in a silhouette of those monsters. It looks like they formed together to make another Godzilla and destroy another bad monster, which to me... Uh, I don't get a good look at it. It might be Cthulhu, it might be the devil, who knows. But that, I think it looks alright, but I wish that, uh, it would have been, like, shown more. And, yeah, that is actually the end of the comic. Unfortunately, there's really not much dialogue. Um, but, other than that, it's a cool, it's a cool, um, collector's item. If you're into Godzilla like I am, so, Yep. Again, do I recommend it? Uh, it's iffy. Honestly, I really do not. I don't recommend getting these, but I know people are going to be like, oh, well, it's Godzilla. You're going to get backlash if you don't get these. These are some of the best. Well, I don't, I don't think they're some of the best because, like I said, they're probably, like I said, they're a miniseries, and there's probably much more better comics out there that has a more of a storyline, more dialogue, and things like that, which I wish this one had. But, you know, that's just me. Uh, my favorite monster, if anybody asks, is... Absolutely, Biolante. The reason being is because I feel like Biolante is a monster of evolution um, because it had two forms, and I do believe that it could continue um, to have like three heads. It could continue to make um, spores and giant replicants of itself and copies of itself, or what do you want to what do you want to call it? But yeah, so this is the complete Godzilla and Hell comic comic look slash review. Um, like I said, storylines decent. Not that great. Needs dialogue. But yeah, I hope this uh, wraps up this uh, Random Thoughts review. And if you have any questions, uh, leave, a, leave a comment in the section below. Uh, random, random, review, random reviews and Random Thoughts, out.